Hi everyone, my name is Abraham Shreve, and on May 3rd of this year, my dear friend Hans Florin and I started up the most famous rock climb in the world, the nose route on El Capitan in Yosemite. Now Hans is well known for the nose, in fact, he has a book called On the Nose, which commemorates his 100th ascent of that particular route. He's held just about every record there is to hold on the nose. And when I was in college, he was the guy on the cover of Rock and Ice magazine, breaking all the records. But I've gotten to know Hans as a friend, and in my experience, I've been able to see what an amazing giver he is. He's worked with the Wounded Warriors program, he does a lot with, the, with adaptive sports, people that have disabilities, helping them have a climbing experience. And um, you know, he's just done so many things for other people. Now on our climb, we got to about 2,300 feet. I was cleaning out a section of the route called the Great Roof when I heard Hans fall. He actually fell about 25 feet. His equipment worked just the way it was designed to work. It caught him, but not before he hit a ledge. He shattered his left leg, the tip and the fib, right where it goes into the ankle bone. He shattered his right heel. I would lower him to me about 60 feet, and we would start the process of lowering 400 feet together to where the search, Yosemite search and rescue team could come and get Hans. During this whole experience, I was absolutely blown away of his concern for everyone but himself. He, in fact, he, he posted on Instagram a selfie and said, there's a rescue on El Cap, and guess what, it's me. I broke my leg, maybe my other one. Be careful, search and, Yosemite Search and Rescue. Um, I had to rappel down. They took him out over the top, took him down uh, by helicopter, put him in an ambulance, took him to Fresno to a level one trauma center. I rappelled to the bottom. When I met up with the Yosemite Search and Rescue team to give him back some of the gear that they had loaned to me, they all had stories of how he had been concerned about them and how he looked out for them, how he made them all laugh all night long. And he's a legend in Yosemite. And to learn this side of him for them was, so, was just cool. They just loved it. It's been interesting as this has happened and we've kind of shared the story, how many people have reached out with cool things that Hans has done for them or ways that he's inspired them. So I wanted to take a moment now and, and share this story a little bit and give you an opportunity to join me in help raising some money through our GoFundMe account. Hans was not in for this. I'd use all of my skills of persuasion. Hans is really well known for rock climbing. I'm a sales guy. I use my sales skills here on him. As you may imagine, these surgeries are extremely expensive. If all goes well, he'll only have three. They are three very complicated surgeries. And if you're inspired by the spirit of adventure, if you're inspired by actionable optimism, and if you've followed our story at all, and, and you've connected with us, you've connected with how this went down, then I'm asking you to help Hans now and click on the link below and contribute anything that you can to our GoFundMe account. Um, it's going to be, there's, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. He's going to need a lot of prayers. He's going to need a lot of medical care. But he has, he has an ace up his sleeve. And the ace up his sleeve is that he is driven by this unbelievable optimism. One of the things that he said to me as we were hanging there is he, he looked up at me with his shattered legs and he said, you know what I love climbing, Abe? I love climbing because if I can't use my legs, I can use my arms. If I can't use my arms, I can work out my core. If I can't use my core, I can work out my fingers always thinking about what he can do, not just focused on what he can't do. I need, I need another person in a wheelchair I can race. This solo stuff is good. I need, I need two right. people. Race down the hall? Dude, do you see those arms? How big they're getting just with this few minutes of wheelchair? It's going to be a long road. But with your help, he's going to make it. So we have a chance to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, if you feel inspired, please do whatever you can to help here. Share this post with all that you believe would want to hear the story and that would have the opportunity to give. I am so grateful for the claiming community, for the business community that I get to interact with, just for this social network. That, uh, it's amazing how small the world gets when we really need each other. Thank you guys for taking a second to listen. Hey, Hans Florine. Who's that for? <laughs> It's our coffee service at the top. Yeah. This will be a trip on the nose we'll never forget.